Looks like fasting worked. Lay. Lay. Good boys. Duke okay. Pumpkin. Okay. Good boys. You're weird. <laughs> so Steven is on a call, but I wanted to record how I'm feeling right now. I'm very tired today. I am very cold. Obviously, I'm standing outside in snow, but just in general, I just want to lay around and have stew and watch movies and sit by the fireplace with the dogs. And the thought of, well, I'm at 166. That's almost 40 pounds from where I was, or maybe 45, I don't know. I'm too tired to do the math. But the thought went and was like, you know, it's not the worst to be at that and to just switch to maintenance and not have to constantly weigh my food, calculate the calories, exercise, deep clean the house, do this, do that, do this. I've been putting a lot on myself, but it's just a feeling I have right now. I have to get over it. I have to sit here and go, no, the end goal is at least 125 because that's where my body felt its best. So I just have to push through this feeling right now. And there's nothing that can make that happen except for me. So just gonna work on that today. And maybe I take a day break if need be later on. But for now, I can push through it. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hello, internet friends. Thanks for joining me again on my channel. If you're new here, and you probably are, I'm Michiwi and I am on a weight loss journey. Yesterday I fasted and I think that the scale is looking pretty good today. I'm also feeling like I want pancakes this morning. So I've already fried up two sausages to go with those pancakes and I went all over the internet. I looked at low calorie, high protein, pumpkin pancake recipes and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted. So I kind of like stole from all kinds of recipes and hopefully I got the gist of it enough to make these pancakes. So from my calculations, these pancakes should be 480 calories and then I'm gonna add two teaspoons of butter to fry them up. So it will end up at 547 calories. I am also going to use coconut flour instead of all-purpose white flour. So all-purpose white flour is going to be 152 calories per one third cup. And the coconut flour is gonna be 160 calories for a third of a cup. But with the coconut flour, I get 21 carbs, five protein, and five fat. And with all-purpose flour, it'll be 32 carbs and four protein. So I decided I would rather have protein, fat, and lower carbs and get eight extra calories instead. So here's what I'm throwing in here. I'm gonna put two large eggs, a third cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. I think there's a cup left of pumpkin puree in here. I might have to adjust. Teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of baking soda. Sprinkle in some cinnamon, sprinkle in some nutmeg, dash it with imitation vanilla flavoring. And I'm gonna put a fourth of a cup of protein powder in it to get some additional protein and two packets of Splenda. Not really sure how this is gonna work out. Fingers crossed. So after I make my breakfast, I need to give the dogs a little treat because it's blizzard-like conditions outside and none of us wanna go on that walk. 
but I wanna give them something mentally stimulating so they'll get a Kong with some treats inside. And then I need to clean the whole house and exercise and do the Derby workout with my partner. With all said and done, I'll have about 350 calories left. Well, it's five calories per two tablespoons of the sugar-free syrup, so I might be off by 10 calories but I have some steak thawed and it's a lot more steak than I thought it was. So we'll probably do steak for dinner and then the rest of it I think I'm gonna use for steak and eggs tomorrow. So I'm gonna get cooking again, wish me luck, and I will show you guys this process. <laughs> That's burnt. Okay, maybe I shouldn't try making my own recipes. You wanna see my beautiful pancakes? It did not want to pancake. Maybe I should have tried them as muffins first. Uh, I will definitely be using two tablespoons of this. I only had half a cup of pumpkin puree, so that brought the calorie count to 500, which is good because I might need extra calories for the syrup to make this work. Did you guys watch Ann Reardon, How to Cook That? Maybe I should send her this recipe and ask her what went wrong. I, I know she would know. Um, it doesn't taste bad. It's not a pancake. It's got protein. I'm gonna eat it. It is sweet. It tastes good. It's just not together. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... Don't be afraid to try new things. So I really tried to choke down that mess of a pancake, but it was very grainy, it tasted bland, and I hated it. I got about halfway through and said, no more. Most of the ingredients that were in it was stuff that we used for other stuff, so I don't feel that wasteful. It was just like the leftovers of other recipes, except for the eggs and like seasoning. But I dumped the other half. I don't know where I am on the calorie counts for that, but I'm just gonna have a cup of blueberries and hopefully that will like even it out. It was filling, it just not good. Not good at all. That recipe goes in the trash, but I will continue to look for better recipes. All right, so the dogs need some kind of mental stimulation, so I'm gonna make them a treat for their Kongs. Okay, first things first, some broccoli cuts. And I'm just gonna, and now these contain beef broth, a couple blueberries, and a dab of peanut butter with no xylitol in it. And then just a couple of dog treats. Here you go, buddy. Good boy. Ooh, you can take it. There you go. All right, so I need to clean the house, but I am freezing and my pants keep falling down, which on a weight loss journey, that's not a problem. That just means I'm going in the right direction. So I'm gonna change real quick and then I'm gonna start cleaning. So here we have a warm sweater that I'm not really a fan of because it fits weird at the bottom and there's a couple stains that I have tried to get out and have failed. So I'm gonna take this little tool here and normally you wouldn't start at that end but that's where I want the cut to be so that's where I'm starting. Oops, okay, well that's fine. Here it is, the finished shirt. It cuts off right about there. My pants start here. I like that. And then thermal socks, nice and warm. Time to start cleaning.
seriously over it right now but I'm gonna keep going okay so I wanted to talk to you guys for a minute before Steven and I start second part of the workout I'm not feeling motivated today didn't want to do anything it's cold out I'm sore I'm kind of tired but you know by nature, I'm pretty lazy, so that's not too surprising. But I just had nothing in it, and I still had to push through it to maintain these goals. And I mean, I fasted yesterday, I didn't do that for nothing. But I was thinking about it, and I've been seeing a lot of advertisements for Copilot. And I'm pretty sure you guys have too, if you watch fitness channels, weight loss journey channels, any kind of big influencer is marketing it pretty heavily now. Really, Copilot Fitness is focusing on influencers, vloggers, bloggers for their marketing, which is smart, obviously. It always makes me question the companies that rely a lot on paid sponsorship. So someone's reviewing them, but they're getting paid to review them. And I did a little digging last night because I was thinking about it and it was after being advertised it on YouTube. But the first thing that struck out at me is that it's $100 a month. So apparently there's a 14 day free trial, no strings attached. Every review I've seen says they don't lock you in in a weird way, but after that it's $100 a month. So for $100 a month, you get a personal trainer at your beck and call on your phone. And it's supposed to build habits. There were a couple things that stuck out to me that makes me question it. I'm not saying it's not a good value. I'm not saying anything of the sort on whether or not it works for somebody. I haven't even tried it. It just has me side eyeing it a little bit, especially for $100 a month. So the first one was someone who had posted a year ago on Reddit. Their Reddit review is, is on the testimonials page for the Copilot Fitness app but they do not have the most updated part of it, which is where things kind of aren't as positive as the first half. So I'm gonna be reading some of this. The first half, and this is posted a year ago, a friend gifted them a free month when they signed up with the referral. They were blown away with how much more of an app this is than just a fitness app. They mentioned that their coach is their new best friend and that they're so encouraging and they send videos back and forth every day, all day. It's kind of weird. They mentioned that the coach focuses on feeling strong and energetic over losing weight as a goal. And so that was their first review. And then there's a four month update. They mentioned that they're still going strong and that they're still BFFs. And they changed up their goals to include more ADHD related routines, which I'm, that's really awesome. But here is the part where it's not on the testimonials. It's the one year update. They mentioned they have grown bored of the same workouts and wish there was a way to customize my own without having to bother my coach. I recently went through some traumatic life events and have been depressed and not wanting to work out at all. My coach has checked in occasionally, but I feel like they aren't as present and communicative as much as they were in the beginning. I've asked to switch up the routines and it's the same cookie cutter set that I'm bored of or moves that I dislike and are difficult to do. There is another comment on the same thread. I concur with the response above. I used the app for over a year and overall loved it at first. The workouts are great and I didn't have to think about it and my trainer helps me train for a big race. They spoke about what's doable for them, what equipment they have available, and how they helped customize that workout routine. But then they also mentioned there have also been lots of changes this last year, specifically the change in focus to being an accountability focused app. My problem was that I wanted to be able to skip workouts while I was in PT for an injury, but the coaches were being rewarded with gift card prizes if they had the most workouts that weren't skipped by their clients. I felt pressured to complete workouts so my coach would get a prize, but at the same time, I wanted to listen to my body and skip workouts workouts because I was getting them in elsewhere at the time. I found the accountability became too rigid when I needed flexibility in my life. It became more about the coaches winning 
than me getting what I needed from the app. Uh, also mentioning, there's also the mention that this used to be Delta Trainer and they rebranded. And here is another comment. I have been using the app since they launched the Android version and I have been liking it so far. They ask you about your preferences and coaching style, what you want to work on, if you are dealing with ADHD, and assign your first coach accordingly. The biggest thing for me was that I didn't have to think about what to do. The app took out the analysis paralysis of the workouts. So I don't know. Now I did go on Indeed to see if they had real coaches, um, if they were advertising anywhere, and it does seem that, that they are advertising for real life people to do this. It's not an AI, which Delta Trainer apparently had some AI stuff in the past. So right here, there is a news article that says, local startup Delta Trainer is using an artificial intelligence to make personal training more accessible. So on a Reddit thread for Copilot, they mentioned that during their workout, um, a female trainer's voice changed to a male trainer's voice. And they thought that that might have been an AI. I am not trying to uncover a rabbit hole of mystery here. I think it's pretty straightforward that they do have personal trainers that are customizing workouts and they may use an AI during the workout to kind of keep it motivated if they can't be on at that time. I don't know. So yeah, I don't know if it's worth $100 a month, but uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I can totally see a personal trainer being needed if you want to like run a 5K or something. But for $100 a month, I would just buy a treadmill. So yeah, I don't know. Um, it just has me questioning it a little bit, but I can see needing motivation. We all get our motivation in different ways. We all have our different goals. But hey, you guys can watch me for free and get your motivation. I also have a treadmill play list. Well, okay, second workout time. I've been thinking about it too. It just makes you want to go. I had 4.9 ounces of steak. That will be 475 calories. And then I also had a couple of apple and cinnamon rice cakes left over that I ate. So I am at 1350 for the day. I just have laundry left to fold and I need to video edit. So this is the outro. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm thinking maybe the living room deep clean. Also, maybe I can get around to that sailing footage. I really wonder what tomorrow's gonna look like with the snow. It's kind of trying to pile up even more than it already is. So we will see what tomorrow brings. And if you're interested in what tomorrow brings for me, hit that subscribe button and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.